Hi everyone, time to get your thinking caps on because we're about to play another round of America's favorite game, Who Am I? I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We're getting it to 2020 for bragging rights. We're getting it to 2020 Gold Rush Autograph Baseball. Uh, eight box, random team break number two. We discussed this just before we started the recording, but I think everyone understands the baseball will go to the team that the person, to the team the person played for the longest if they're retired. And their current team if they're active. So, for example, if the MLB trading deadline was yesterday and a team player got traded yesterday, today would be that current team for that particular player. Some old school guys in the mix as well. Most of this should be pretty straightforward. All right. Unless the baseball is literally has a team logo stamped on it. You know what I mean? That that'd be the only time I that, that would trump the uh, the uh, seasons played rule. Or if the games are the same number, we go here. Here's what we're using, actually. Good question, Rex. We're using baseballreference.com. So let's take a random player, Ron Reed, right? I guess if it'd be a pitcher, it would be the most wins. We're just going to go the next column over, basically. So if it was a pitcher and if he played for 10 seasons with the Braves and 10 seasons with Philly, I'd just click over to the next column and be like, what games, how many more wins did he have? If his wins are tied, we go to losses. If losses are tied, we go to win percentage. If win percentage is tied, we're going to go next column over to ERA, then games, then game started, then games finished, then complete games, so on and so forth. I don't think we'll run into that situation, but that's how we'll use baseball reference. It would not be hilarious if that happened. It would be a nightmare. Big thanks to these folks for getting into it. Uh, and there are uh, all the teams, all 30 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Five and a two, seven times for each list. One, two, three, four, five, six. And seventh and final time. After seven, we've got Jose down to Robert. I'd like this break to be as easy as possible. Five and a two, seven times for the teams. And seventh and final time. Good luck. White Sox down to the Mets. So there you go. Five and two, seven times. All right. So let's paste that in column B. All right. And trade. Now there's no checklist. Remember, there's no checklist. So trade at your own risk. That's why we're doing those non checklist rules. Team they play for the longest or team he's currently on. All right. Jose with the White Sox. Nancy. With the Astros, Nick with the Nationals, Matt with the Phillies, Matt Medlin with the Cubs, Aaron with the Pirates, Jarrell with the Twins, Nancy with the Red, uh, Royals, Red Sox, and Brewers, Edwin with the Yankees, Nick Stober, you got my Dodgers, Nancy with the Marlins, Aaron with the Diamondbacks, David with the Angels, Nancy with the Rangers, Nick with the Indians, Nancy with the A's, Spencer with the O's. You got the O's and, you got the O's and break one, too? Maybe we'll pull you a nice Oriole out of this one. Aaron with the Cardinals, Nick with the Mariners, Nancy with the Giants and the Blue Jays, Oliver with the Padres, Nick with the Braves, Nancy, Last Spot Mojo, Reds, Ryan, you have the Rocks, Gary with the Tigers, Nancy with the Rays, and Robert with the New York Mets. Let's sort by column B. Hopefully the second time's a charm, Spencer. I'm going to pause the video, allow for some trades, and when we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. There were no deals done, so that list right here remains the same. A couple people put some, some teams out there for trade. Let's see if they get that tried to trade, couldn't trade mojo. That's, that's a thing that happens. There it is, one autograph baseball per box. We've discussed the rules on this, so hopefully everybody's clear on that. Basically, it's where they played. And where they played for the longest, or where they're playing currently. Hopefully it'll be a pretty easy. Without a checklist, kind of hard to do it another way. All right, here we go, good luck. Put your thinking caps on. We'll do some quick rounds of who am I. So they come in these nice little uh, little ball cubes here, which is pretty good. Kind of see the 
the label on the back with the team name. All right. All right, for bragging rights, put your thinking caps on. Who am I? I'm a retired pitcher. Played for three teams my entire career. No, check that, two teams my entire career. The third, I played for my first team a second time to close out my career. A 10-time All-Star, a World Series champion, a two-time NL Cy Young Award winner, a World Series MVP, He's a pitcher, and he's a four-time silver slugger as a pitcher, five-time NL wins leader, my number retired in this team's Hall of Fame, and a member of the National Baseball Hall of Fame with 91.9% of the first ballot votes. Yeah, he's, he's a first ballot. He's 305 wins. People aren't going to win 300, 300 games again for a long time. 354 ERA, 2,607 strikeouts. Who am I? I think I was drafted as a hockey player. Yeah, I was drafted by the Kings. But won baseball instead. Yep, Rex has got it. And Stream Dust has got it. All right, there you go. It's Tom Glavin. That's for Nick Stober and the Braves. There you go. Yeah, he's pretty good. Should have a, there's a JSA sticker right down there. Nice. And we've got the accompanying JSA card in here as well. So there you go, Nick. Nice. Easy, right? First ballot? Bonafide first ballot. I don't think there's any doubt. All right, so this is break number two. 300 wins. If you kind of think about it, those 300 wins, you know, 305 wins, that's not going to happen again. Most pitchers are being taken out earlier. All right. Next box, Lane Smith. What's going on? We got an active player, ladies and gentlemen. Get your active players in your head. This is going to be a little bit harder because they don't have career stats yet. I'm, I'm a righty. I'm an infielder. My stats through September 8th, 2020, according to Wikipedia, 297, 72 home runs, 241 runs batted in, and 165 stolen bases. I'm a World Series champion and NL stolen base leader, and I've hit for the cycle twice. Righty from Boynton Beach, Florida. He was originally drafted by the Padres. I didn't realize that. And then traded to the Nationals the year after. Yep, Oliver's got it. Trey Turner. The speedy Trey Turner. No one steals bases anymore except for this guy. There you go. There's the Beckett card right there. Beckett sticker on the back. Nice, clean baseball. Good autograph. There you go. Nice Trey Turner. Wow. Nick Stober and the Nationals. Two for two. Malibu saying, are there players that still won't sign on the sweet spot? I don't know. I feel like they're encouraged too. I gotta be careful with this. Last time I was opening these boxes, I, I sliced my thumb really bad one year. 
doing these, sign these open. That's why if you see me extra cautious on this, mild PTSD. All right, here's another old school guy, retired player. He's played for multiple teams. I actually don't know what team he played for the longest. In my head, it's this team, but I'm going to have to look up these numbers. All right, who am I? I am a Hall of Famer, first ballot Hall of Famer with 85.3% of the vote in the early 2000s. My career stats, 287 lifetime, 3,255 hits, 504 home runs, and 1,917 runs batted in. Eight-time All-Star. A World Series champ, AL Rookie of the Year, three-time Gold Glover, three-time Silver Slugger, AL Home Run Leader, AL RBI Leader. Yeah, this guy was this guy was pretty good. Yeah, he's pretty good. He must have played for that team his entire career. Yeah. So I'll tell you the teams that 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 he used to play for. Play with the Dodgers for. I guess his last season was with the Dodgers, but he also played a few seasons more closer to his prime. Um, played with the Mets for a couple seasons, Cleveland for a few seasons, Baltimore. I just gave that away. Eddie Murray, yeah, Joe Joe M's got it. He played with Baltimore again for the for the for half a season. I think Cleveland traded him back to Baltimore, and then he got picked up by the Angels, who traded him to the Dodgers, or vice versa, something like that. But he played for Baltimore. 13 seasons, Spencer Jordan tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. He didn't want the Orioles. He was like, eh, I got him a second time. That's annoying. <laughs> I don't want him. Try to trade him. But you got Hall of Famer Eddie Murray. He's really good. Kind of an older looking baseball here. You got that. Can Mounted Memories is the sticker there. There's also a baseball hologram sticker and a Fanatic sticker. So three different authentications here. It's pretty nice. What's the card that you Oh, it's a Fanatics authentication card right here. There you go. Forgot about him, Suspense. There you go. There you go, man. Yeah. It's not just Cal Ripken Jr. Eddie Murray's a pretty amazing player, too. for the longest. All right. Did he play? Yeah, he played. He played. I'm mostly known as a manager, but I did play I did play some major league baseball for a while. For eight seasons. Lifetime average, 257, 25 home runs, 172 runs batted in. But my managerial record, 1,281 wins. Right there. World Series champion as a manager, manager of the year one time. And in a few teams is Hall of Fame as well. But he played for this team the longest. Well, he's actually tied with three different teams. Or two different teams. He played for a few seasons with two different teams. But this one team he's played more, more, more games for. 209 games over a three-year period. Not Torrey, not Don Mattingly. Not Joe McCarthy.
Oh, he actually managed for, for that particular... The pro team I played for the longest, he actually managed in that city for a little while too. So there's there's a connection there. Not Lou Pinella. This might be a tough one. He he managed the Rangers for a season, then the Angels, and the Kansas City Royals for a little bit. Then the St. Louis Cardinals. Played for the Senators. The Kansas City A's. Baltimore Orioles and Detroit Tigers had 1,281 uh, 1, wins. Yep, Oliver's got it. Whitey Herzog. And he played for the Kansas City A's the longest. He played with the Senators for three seasons and the Kansas City A's for three seasons and played 209 games with the uh, Kansas City A's. So that'll go to Nancy and the Oakland A's now. There's the certification right there. There's his autograph. There's the, there's the JSA sticker on the bottom right there. Old school Whitey, he's got a nice autograph too. Old school Whitey Herzog. All right, halfway through this eight box break. More more quick trivia coming up. Let's get all this squared. It makes, makes it easier for the shipping team to get all this sent out to you. If you're, uh, I wouldn't expect your, if you have any cards and you're lucky enough to get a hit here, I wouldn't expect them in the same shipment. They'll probably go in different shipments. It's per tradition. So if you receive your other cards first from earlier, from breaks today, and you're like, hey, where's my baseball? In a different box. All right, let's see who's on the back here. Okay. Who am I? I think I'm an... Mm -mm -mm. Okay. I didn't know that was his nickname. I am an active player, 28 years old, lefty. A career, so far in my career, career 248 average, 83 home runs, 319 runs batted in, and 83 stolen bases. Been in the league for about, I don't know, maybe six, seven years. Been in the league, same team. Same team as the team that drafted me, I think. Yeah, I think he's been with this this club for since he signed as an international free agent. Yeah. And a uh, outfielder. Not Bogarts, not Rizzo, not Altuve. I don't think Rizzo was a uh, international free agent. Not Puig. This is still an active player. <laughs> not Davis, not Springer. My nickname, El Coffee. I didn't know that was his nickname. Not El Cafe, El Coffee. Is his nickname. From the Dominican Republic. Right fielder. No, everyone stumped? I'm trying to give you some more clues here. No, maybe you won't get any more clues. It's going to be for Pittsburgh. How about that? There you go. Joe M's got it. Gregory Polanco. El Coffee. Where did that, where did that nickname come from? There. Oh, we got a different little thing here. What do we got here? We got an Onyx certification here. There you go. I I don't think I've ever would have guessed if I just looked at his autograph. Does Onyx give you a sticker? They do. All right, so there you go, Aaron Pettit, and the Pittsburgh Pirates.
What do we win for guessing correctly? Bragging rights. Joe M. Pride, yeah. The ability to tell your friends, hey, I guess Gregory Polanco, what did you do today? And they'll be, your friends will be like, nothing. It was lame. Did not win any Who Am I games today. And be like, that's right. That's what, that's what you get. And then you can come back into the chat tomorrow, Joe M, and be like, who won, who won a Who Am I round yesterday? Oh, no one, me? Okay. Ah, see? Just delicious, delicious bragging rights. Who am I? Another Hall of Famer, 12-time All-Star, a 1992 World Series winner, seven-time Gold Glover, and a six-time Silver Slugger. I was currently 68 years old right now. Born in St. Paul, Minnesota. What, what am I doing now? I feel like this guy should be doing something now. Life since retirement. I joined uh, MLB on Fox, studio analyst. Then was a VP, senior advisor for the Padres for a long time, for like 12, 12 years. But in between then, teamed up with conductor Bob Thompson to create the Baseball Music Project, a series of concerts that celebrate the history of baseball, with me serving as a host and narrator. I participated in the final Old Timers Day ceremony and final game ceremony at Yankee Stadium. Uh, in June of 2008, Major League Baseball held a special draft of the surviving Negro League players to acknowledge and rectify the exclusion from the Major Leagues on the basis of race. The idea of the special draft was conceived by me. Each Major League team drafted one player from the Negro Leagues. In 2009, I joined ESPN as an analyst on Baseball Tonight. In 2013, I was named Special Assistant to Executive Director Tony Clark at the MLBPA. In 2014, I returned to Minnesota throughout the first pitch at the 2014 Home Run Derby, along with uh, fellow St. Paul natives Joe Maurer. Joe Maurer? That's right. Paul Mulder and Jack Morris. And in 2016, uh, I helped represent Major League Baseball in Cuba during Obama's trip to the island and helped normalize her relationships. He's all over the place. In March 21st, gave a press conference Joe Torre, Derek Jeter, and Luis Tiant in Havana attended the baseball game between the Rays and the Cuban national team. And I reside currently in California with my wife Tanya and three children, uh, Chanel and twins David II and Ariel. Yep, Andy H has got it. I think way before I even revealed David II. Dave Winfield. Wow. I was wondering. We had him we had him in the last we had him in the last uh, the case too, but I didn't want to give out the same stats. There he is. Nice. He played for, there's PSA DNA right here. He played for the Yankees the longest. Nine seasons with the Yankees. Eight seasons with the Padres was the next closest one. This was the, Joe M, this was the 92, this was the Blue Jays team. He was there for a season and he got a ring. So there you go. He, he was Gollum. Ring chasing. And he got it. Didn't have to worry about old Frodo getting in his way. Uh, Yankees, that's going to be for Edwin and the Yanks. Although I don't know if his relationship was very good with, with the Yankees. Yeah, it was 92. All right, two more baseballs to go, ladies and gentlemen. Two more chances for, for those delicious, delicious bragging rights. You tell your friends and family, hey, guess what I did? I won. Who am I? What did you win? Pride. Bragging rights. The respect of my peers. And respect from your peers is something that you cannot buy, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right. All right, who am I? Also a Hall of Famer. One-time MVP, 18-time All-Star, two World Series, back when this team was good, real good. 16-time Gold Glover, a World Series MVP, and an All-Star game MVP. 
Am I, are you, are we, is he still with us? He is 83 years old. Out of Little Rock, Arkansas, 83 years old. Lifetime 267 batting average, 2,848 hits, 1,357 RBIs, and, uh, and just an absolute vacuum cleaner at his position. Yeah, this was back when this team was real good. Who am I? What did I do post-playing career? I feel like he was a little, uh, I don't know if he... No, ser served uh, served as a member of the MLBPA for a little bit. One of the investors in the opening day partners group, which owns four teams in the Atl Atlantic League. Um, met his future wife on a on a team flight from Kansas City to Boston, where she was working as a flight attendant. <laughs> he was so smitten with her that he kept ordering iced teas from her. Some of the, some of his teammates encouraged just to go ahead and talk to her after drinking his third glass. He returned to her in the galley. Then I told. Uh, then he told her, "I want to tell you something. If any of these guys, this team, ask you for a date, tell them you don't date married men. Understand? I'm the only single guy on the team." Before the plane had landed in Boston, the two had made a date to go out. He was not the only bachelor on the flight. Blah blah blah. blah. It's emergency surgery in 2011, 2014. Uh, apparently, got a multi-million dollar settlement with the Seminole Indian tribe related to injuries suffered from a 2012 fall from a stage maybe he was doing some public event right there Semin at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in South Florida number five uh, yeah Dave's got it Chris Gill's got it Joe M's got it yep Oliver's got it there you go I think Dave got it first it is Brooks Robinson this is one of the boss man's favorite players back when the Orioles were good I think they had won a few three or four World Series in that late 60s to uh, late 60s through part of the 70s, maybe even the early 80s they got a World Series knocked out too. There's the Beckett sticker right there. There you go. Another Oriole for Spencer. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. He didn't want him. And yeah, he played for a single... I mean, I feel like that would have given it away too easily. 23 seasons with the same team. That just doesn't happen anymore. All right. There you go, Spencer. Two baseballs for you. He was, he was bummed that he got the Orioles twice in a row. Not anymore. There you go, Spencer. All right. <laughs> Laser saying next one will be a good auto. They've all been good autos. These are legends of the game. One of Boss Man's favorite, favorite players, Brooks Robinson. The human vacuum cleaner is what they, what they would call him. Scoop of everything at third base. All right. Last one. All right, who am I? Currently 54 years old, lefty, hit 279 in my career, 305 home runs with just over 1,000 runs batted in. Three-time All-Star, two-time World Series champion, and NL Rookie of the Year, ALCS MVP, two-time Silver Slugger in this team's Hall of Fame. What did I do after my career? Maybe maybe some uh, some telecasts? Join the Yes Network? It does not work for the Yes Network anymore. I appeared on The Young and the Restless during my playing days. And I was played by actor Stephen Bishop in the movie Moneyball. I think people said that they that they actually hit pretty pretty similarly. I was married to Halle Berry for a while, for a little bit, not for a while. <laughs> they got married in 1993, and they were they were divorced by 1997, and then re married Rebecca Villalobos. Bill Lobos is the CEO of Exotic Spices Calendar. Okay. They have three children, David Jr., 
Dionisio and Raquel. And they were on an episode of Celebrity Wife Swap, by the way. Yes, Oliver's got it. That is David Justice. Yep, Adam has got it too. Laser Jet's got it. Yeah, Moneyball. Big fan of the movie. They, they said that, uh, that the actor that played him, Stephen Bishop, apparently said that they were actually... There's PSA DNA right there. That he actually was very similar. Like, his swing looked very similar to David Justice's. There's the authenticity card right there. He played for the Braves the longest, I'm pretty sure. I actually didn't look this up. I'm almost certain that he did. Um, yeah, he played for the Braves for eight seasons, and the next closest was Cleveland with f at four seasons. That goes to Nick Stober and the Braves. There you go, Nick. And there you go, everybody. That was a lot of fun. That was 8-Box Random Team 2 of 2020 Gold Rush Autograph Baseballs. Now, for real, I don't think there's another case unless it's hiding in the back. I actually didn't, couldn't find a second case for a while, but I found it. So there you go. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Keep your eye out for more uh, live memorabilia like this. A lot of cool stuff out there in the world and it might end up on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.